everybody, Kyle again here with softwaremedia.com. In our last few tutorials, I've shown you the ribbon feature in Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. And just to wrap it up, I'm going to show you the ribbon interface in Microsoft Excel 2010. I mean, it seemed like overkill, but each one has different features, so let's get right into it, shall we? First, you're going to have your file tab, just like in all of the other Office applications. This is going to contain your save option, your open, close, viewing recent documents, creating new documents, printing, saving and sending. And you have your home tab. This is the most often used tab. It incorporates all the text and cell formatting features such as um, you know, your fonts, your font sizes, paragraph formatting, uh, as well as several styles for helping you organize your spreadsheet. Next you have your insert tab. Now this tab allows you to insert uh, a multitude of items into a document from pictures to clip art, and headers, footers, various different types of charts, um, which is actually blank right now because I haven't specified any data. Uh, clip art, smart art, you can take screenshots, you can insert text box, Word art, all of that will be in the insert tab. Next is your page layout. This tab contains commands to adjust the page properties such as margins, uh, orientation, your page size, printable area, you can add background images. All that is in the page layout tab. Next is formulas. This is the math intensive part of Microsoft Excel. This tab has an immense function library which can assist with creating any formula or function that you need in your spreadsheet. You can define the names, create a name manager, calculations, you can create calculation sheets, auto sums, which is very helpful. That's all in the formulas tab. Next is data. This is where you can import data from access, from websites, from various other sources, at SQL Server, analysis services. You can sort your data, you can filter it, you can create text to columns, which is very handy when you're pasting text or figures into your spreadsheet. Use text to columns to separate it into various columns and rows. Next you have your review tab. And just like in the other Microsoft Office apps, this is going to contain your spell check, your research, thesaurus, translation services. Uh, you can protect your sheet, you can protect the entire workbook. You can highlight bits of your Excel sheet. And that will all be done in the review tab. Next is view. This is going to contain your page layout, page breaks, uh, custom view, full screen. All of this will be done in the view tab. And that essentially is the ribbon in Microsoft Excel. Stay tuned for many more in-depth Office tutorials here at softwaremedia.com.